All right, so my goal for this video is to kind of showcase what three coats of Minwax Polycrylic um, protective finish, what that looks like on a piece of unstained, um, this is poplar wood, what that looks like um, versus just kind of your one coat um, that usually I think most people <laughs> unfortunately just apply um, to a piece of wood but my goal is to showcase why you kind of need to do what Minwax um, recommends by putting at least three coats of this stuff on your wood. I know it takes a lot of work to do that but man what a difference it makes. It's unbelievable. So I hope y'all can see just the sheen that this wood kind of has and this is just the natural light that's hitting it and I'm trying to get this lifted up and to kind of showcase that surface finish but man this is like as smooth as my hardwood floors in my house so these three panels that go on my fruit cart on each level those have three coats on it now the cart itself it only has one coat on it and you can tell it's pretty dull and a lot of that's due to the fact that I sanded it after the first coat but even when I had that first um, that first coat on there this was super rough I was like oh my gosh if this is how each layer goes after this this is gonna look really bad but after sanding this with 220 um, grit just using my DeWalt orbital sander. Um, this stuff got to looking real nice and it feels incredible. Um, Cause nothing makes me more pissed off than a piece of finished wood that feels rough <laughs> um, after it's been tr stained and, and had this clear coat placed on it. And the brush that I used to apply this polycrylic um, to the wood was just a purdy brush. It's a XL Dale. I think it's kind of like a, a cut-in brush that I've used on many projects. But this is what I've just been coating it with. And um, and this is what, it, really, I was surprised that it gave me as smooth of a finish on that third one. All right, so I want to show just kind of how I apply this. And even at this angle, you can kind of see where we've got just the uh, darker pieces of the wood, just how much they pop out more on the panels um, with that third coat versus the um, one coat. And even, I know granite, I sanded it, it gives it that dull appearance, but um, even after the first one, those uh, darker pieces didn't pop as much as what you're seeing down there on those panels. But, um, so I sanded this and then I blew it all off with my pancake compressor. Um, sorry for the mess in the garage. But, um, but what I do is I just kind of go in, dip my brush in there, make sure I get just kind of, not a super heavy coating. Um, but from there I just kind of just apply it gently and kind of lightly to the wood just to make sure I get full coverage and what I'm going to do after that um, is then I'll come back and I really like to after I get that kind of even coat I kind of like to get a little bit more product on there so it kind of has a thicker layer on there um, just to make sure that it's kind of running smoother with the brush because right now that polycrylic is just kind of filling the grooves um, that are on there and you can tell with the brush when I go up and down it's just kind of rough when you get enough on there to where it's not bleeding down your wood you'll notice that you'll get a much smoother stroke and it feels like it's just kind of more gliding across your wood rather than filling the uh, the crevices um, that might be left over in your grain um, but even it gets even smoother as you go with more layers um, 
which makes sense. You got a thicker layer of polyacrylic on there versus the the wood grain. But um, but that's kind of when you know that you I think you've got a good coat on there is when that brush runs a lot smoother in that grain direction. All right, so I've let this kind of dry for about 12 hours. Um, it's just the next morning. But this is the second coat. I haven't sanded yet. And you can see that kind of based on the light, it's kind of starting to get more of a sheen. Still not as shiny as um, those panels are right there. But it's looking better. But the thing I've noticed is that it's still a little bit rough, but it's not as rough as the first time that I did it. And so I think after this, after the second sanding, um, it should be ready for that third coat. And then I expect that it will be as smooth as the, the panels in there as well. So we're gonna just do a light sanding on this just to make sure that we don't take away a whole lot of that, that surface finish but we want to sand it just enough to where we get that smooth um, feel to the front because you can kind of feel the raised up areas of where that brush kind of you have small little raised up areas on that polyacrylic just left over from the paintbrush but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like two or three passes and then that should really knock it down and this is a 220 grit sandpaper the finished cart all feels very smooth especially after that third coat and I'm trying to see if I can get any glare off that but it's all pretty much the same looking finish but yeah three coats is the trick sand after each coat and uh, you'll get a really nice finish on uh, any piece of wood that you uh, that you treat with that polycrylic. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Thank you.